Get down to the task at hand. Welcome to Wednesday night's NBA action here on 2K Sports. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. And now the Washington Wizards starters at the two and the three are Beal and Avdia. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Nunn in at the one spot. And for Houston, Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a midseason lull. Graham, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And, of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. Now here's none. Clock at six. 18 feet out. That shot is off. And Houston the other way now. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. <laughs> you hated to see anyone walk away the loser. I'll tell you, overtime games usually are special. And this one qualified for that. But both teams absolutely gasped at the end. Deal against Green. Now here's Beal. Defense right on him. On the wing, Porter. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Green against Beal. We played just over a minute here in the first. None finds Beal. Shot clock at six. Over green. Beal's shot is off. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Green in the post. None defends. Here's Gafford. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. by Beal no good there and Washington the other way now you know last game they matched up with the Mavs a tough loss there they hit a couple big shots but overall there was a lack of consistency just not their night at the offensive end you know what there was a lot of standing around in that basketball game failing to move bodies and failing to move the basketball is a bad formula well you think about the surprises at the trade deadline back in 2022 the one that shocked me the most, the Mavericks sending Kristaps Porzingis to the Wizards. I was shocked. Doris, the big Porzingis trade really did catch people off guard. It seemed when he was acquired by the Mavericks that Kristaps and Luka Doncic were going to be the backbone of the Mavericks for a long time. How quickly things change in the NBA. And he drops the first. Well, Bradley Beal is the epitome of being a triple threat. He can drive it, pass it, shoot it. The complete package on the offensive end, that defines Bradley Beal. And Beal drops them both. Hey, I got to admit, I like how the Rockets are approaching their rebuild. This summer, drafting Jabari Smith and Tari Eason, two versatile forwards to go with the other young talents. It feels like the picture is starting to come into focus in Houston. Back to Smith. On the wing, Green. Over Beal. And another miss by Houston. Washington trailing. Pass to Porzingis. 
had a nice finish on the layup. Boy, what a display of toughness from Chris Stapp's poor Zingas. He's a rock down low. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Now here's Porter. Well, you know, after he was jettisoned by the Cavaliers, Kevin Porter Jr. getting a second chance here with the Rockets, and they've put the ball in his hands and believe in him. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. None against Porter. None. The pass to Porzingis. With the second effort, it's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got four rebounds in the game. And he dunks it down. Just such a terrific dunk. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. None against Porter. None. The pass to Gafford. Outside none. Pass to Beal. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, the defender's all over him, but this guy is able, Bradley Beal, to play through it and get the score. The Rockets have gone two for five here in the first. Outside, Green. And here is Porter. He's got five. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Inside, here's Porzingis. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that, Grant? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. That free throw good from Porzingis. How about this, Doris? The Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. Unreal. That's exactly right, B.A., and it gives you some sense of how tough it is to be successful in the NBA because it's not that long ago that their backcourt consisted of John Wall and Bradley Beal. Many at the time considered it one of the most dangerous in the league and thought they would be here for over a decade. It does show you how hard sustained success is in the NBA. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Step back and squared up. The defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step back. And for Washington, they're shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. against Porter. Avdia from outside. The Rockets pull it in. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. The last season, they swept this team. Though both were struggling throughout the year. Pass to Smith from downtown. Gafford grabs the miss. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Avdia can't get it to go. Well, uh, he's got to be embarrassed for attempting that one. You've got to think twice about that next time. Got it. Now here's Beal. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. 
pass to Avdia. Outside for Zingas. Six on the shot clock. And again, Washington, no good. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Porzingis on the double team. Top of the key. Smith passes to Porter. Green with the ball. Let's it go from deep. Hits the trifecta. Green's got five points. Big day for their backcourt. Their guards have really set the tone for the rest of this team. Here's Porzingis. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Well, this is what you want to see. It's 7-3. Kristaps Porzingis finished through contact. Houston has gone two for four from range to start things off. Back to Porter. Pass to Shangun. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. And the Wizards making a change here. Kuzma's checked in for Gafford. Kispert comes in for Avdia. Davis, he's checked in for Beal. And it's Morris in for none. So he hits one of two from the strike. Washington's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Davis. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. The Rockets have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Outside, Green. Here's Garuba. Up top, Shangun. And Porzingis with the block. 7 foot 6 wingspan sending it back. Kristaps Porzingis with the rejection. That's just perfect execution. Nice job hustling, and as a result, he gets rewarded with the bucket. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Houston calls timeout. Well, the 27th pick in 2017, Kyle Kuzma made first team all rookie. He was displaying just sort of significantly better shooting in the pros than he did in college at Utah. He's checked in for Houston. Christopher comes in for Green. Now Washington. Pass to Christopher. And here's Tate. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got six rebounds now in the game. Well, you look at Kuzma's shooting percentages. His rookie season still his most efficient, Grant. Yeah, B.A. I mean, he stayed at about that same level. But as an offensive-minded player, if he can progress a little, that would certainly help his value. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Houston in the lead. It's Christopher on the wing. Washington outside. Outside Tate. Pass to Washington. The Rockets again can't hit. 
They've been keeping things close. And now have a chance to jump back on top, B.A. The shot. And that one's good. Porzingis. Porzingis has got eight. Kristaps Porzingis a tough cover. This guy knows he can make threes. Now you get inside the lane and look out. Washington passes to Martin. And here's Tate. Unloads. The rebound by the Wizards. Porzingis has got rebound number seven tonight. Washington against Morris. Pass to Kispert from deep. Buries it from three. And now it's a four-point Washington lead. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Garuba. Now Washington. Down to five on the shot clock. And stolen by Porzingis. Up the floor. Rips down the breakaway slam. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. Now a timeout called by Houston. You know, the Wizards really came up short last season on the defensive end. They consistently struggled to get stops, which makes it twice as hard to win games. The Rockets trail. Washington with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To the wing on the left. Here's Garuba. Defended by Porzingis. Shot to end the cold streak. Garuba, no good. I just wonder how the Wizards can remedy their defensive weaknesses from last year. Well, B.A., mindset is a big part of it. They just need to have better focus on pressuring the ball handlers and making sure shots are getting well contested. Here's Kispert. He's got five. Morris for three. Christopher with a rebound. Houston has gone two of five from deep. Down low. Martin, the pass to Washington. It's Christopher on the wing. They get the rebound. Good work there as it goes. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. A minute 50 left in the first quarter here. Here's Kispert. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And it's the Rockets with the ball. They trail by six. Pass to Christopher. And here's Tate. And that one drops. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. And Washington with possession. They're on a 15-5 run. Morris against Washington. On the wing, Davis. Outside, Porzingis. Six to shoot. That shot missing. The Rockets go the other way with it. And here's Tate outside. And the three-pointer goes. Tate's got a second bucket on the night. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Morris against Washington. Wright's checked in for Morris. On defense, the Rockets. Wright finds Davis. Here's Kispert. Pass to Porzingis. From seven. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play.
a reason people call Kristaps Porzingis the unicorn. A seven-foot big man, but boy, what a sweet shooter he is. Now here's Tate. He's got five. Tipped away to the paint. Here's Christopher Davis with a rebound. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Here he goes. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Washington up top. And that concludes the first quarter play. Wizards out in front, leading by six. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. In the early goings, their effort level has been exceptional. The speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Wizards starting in the second. They've got Bradley Beal, Kyle Kuzma out there with Kispert, then it's DeLon Wright, and it's Gafford in at the center position. And here's Porter outside. Gafford grabs the miss. The Wizards with a lead. Wright outside. Kuzma outside. Here's Kispert. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. They get it back. An easy two on the layup. Kispert's got 11. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And here's Porter. He's got five. Over right. Porter shot is off. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. Right, pass to Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. Oh, Bradley Beal letting you know there's still an explosive level to his game. Off his feet, easy finish. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Back to Smith. Outside Porter. Pass to Green. Three-pointer. The shot no good. And it's Washington the other way. Right on the right side. Now here's Kuzma. And here's Kispert from the arc. It's rebounded by Shangun. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. A tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. And that one goes in as he's fouled. What's up? It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. It's going to go on DeLon Wright. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit. Led Auburn to a great season as a freshman. And he's just starting to tap into his potential now. Avdia, he's checked in for Washington. None comes in for right. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grin. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice. And it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. 
Thanks, B.A. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team, and Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Alec. Thank you. Misses the free throw. And Bradley Beal getting a huge contract this summer. Now, he committed to being with the Wizards for his prime. And there was some speculation he might leave, but he cemented his time in Washington for many years to come. Boy, when you consider that Bradley Beal entered the NBA as one of the sweetest shooting guards in the league, but over the course of his career, he's added elite playmaking, and he's as dangerous and complete an offensive force as there is in the game. From eight feet, rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got four rebounds now. It's Beal on the wing, green covering. Beal, no good. And about Beal, such an integral part of the makeup of this team. He's been consistently committed to the organization. He's elite offensively and can flat lift a team by his individual offensive skill. And because of what he has in terms of his physical attributes, his coaches believe he can be elite defensively as well. Now here's Porter. He's got five. Outside, green, five on the clock. Here's Shangun. And they get it back. And he gets it to go. Now two of six in the game. I love his tenacity. Extra possessions, second chance points. That's winning basketball. Washington calls timeout. The Wizards have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Pass to Abdia. To the inside. From six feet away. Deflected. And he recovers it. Peel finds none. Five to shoot. Goes back up. The offensive rebound. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, you think about Daniel Gafford being picked in the second round back in 2019. But guys, in 2021, that young man started to find his stride. Free throw good from Gafford. And with Gafford, Doris, he earned a three-year, $40 million deal. He did, B.A., and it had everything to do with what he showed as a starting caliber center in the league. His rebounding, his rim protection, and his value as a vertical threat at the cup, all very worthy of that contract. Both free throws good from Gafford. Here's Green. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. Yeah, don't forget how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free-throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. Pass to Porter. Beyond the arc. And that comes off the assist by Green. Porter's got eight. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end. And you love his confidence. Deal outside. Back to none. Avdia from outside. The Wizards with another miss. I know he wants to answer the 
three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. Pass to Shingun. Smith with it. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? Washington's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Now here's Beal. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Kuzma down low. He's against Smith. It's Kuzma with the miss. Houston has gone 1 of 4 from three-point land here in the second. Pass to Smith. Outside, green. Clock at six. And here's Porter. Fires the three. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First free throw is good. Washington making some changes. Porzingis has checked in for Kuzma. And it's Morris in for Bradley Beal. Good on both. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. Now here's none. 17 points for him. Last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. Here's Avdia, leading by five. None, no good. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. The Rockets with another miss. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Now here's Gafford. Nine points in his last outing. Porzingis misses. Here's Green. Good. Third basket in six attempts. You just can't give up looks that close to the rim. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Houston making some changes. Martin, he's checked in for Smith. And Tate is subbed in for Shangun. The Wizards with a lead. Now Morris. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Porzingis passes to none. Now here's Morris. He's guarded by Porter. The kick out to Morris. Here's none. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Houston has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Order the pass to Tatum. Let's it go from the wing. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. To the middle. Here's Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. You get the sense his teammates recognize Kristaps Porzingis is in rhythm. Let's keep feeding him. And the Rockets shooting 34% thus far in this game. Outside, green. Pass to Tate. Martin outside. Outside quarter. 
takes it from distance. Porter's got 11 points. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Gafford with the bucket. Precision pass into the post. Well-earned assist. The Rockets trail. Outside, Green. Outside, Tate. Back to Green. Shot clock at six. And here's Porter outside. Kept alive by Houston. And they recover it. Martin, the pass to Green. Porter with it. Guarded now by Morris. Porter's shot is off. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Here's none. The layup off target. Outside, Green. Outside, Porter. Outside, Tate. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Daniel Gafford picks one up. And falls for Tate. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. Houston making some changes. Garuba comes in for Green. And Washington is subbed in for Porter Jr. That one's no good. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. None against Martin. Here's Porzingis. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. In a pick-and-roll game, the length and athleticism of Kristaps Porzingis is going to be a big-time problem. And the Rockets shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Martin outside. Pass to Tate. Now Washington. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. And that one goes. Three for nine for him. Willing passes. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Pass to none. And here's Porzingis. Shoots in deep. Book it again. 7 for 12 and going at the defense. They have no answer defensively inside. Washington passes to Tatum. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first half. Pass to Martin. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Morris passes to none. Washington against Morris. Here's none. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. I mean, he's yet to make a shot this quarter. At some point, you got to look for other ways to impact the game. Releases from 15. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Morris passes to none. Back to Morris. 46 seconds left in the first half. Oh, misses the dunk. Houston has got 6 out of 15 threes so far in this game. Washington inside. None defends. Pass to Garuba. Here's Tate. Bob 
Avdia pulls it in. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Nunn. Porzingis passes to Nunn. Left side, Porzingis. No good on the buzzer beater. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Wizards. They lead by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big-time action so far in this one. There was no stopping Kristaps Porzingis in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, 12 rebounds, and one block. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second year. And Shaq, how would you think the Rockets were playing? Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Put the defense back on its heels. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. It has been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set, so that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Now here's Porter. Releases. Rebound by the Wizards. Gafford's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. And so it's Washington with it. They lead by four. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Green for three. No luck on that one. And Washington the other way now. You look at how the game is played today. Teams are looking for length, versatility, and of course, shooting. And Smith Jr. has all of that and more. Now here's Porzingis. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got three assists in the game. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. And the Rockets with possession here. Outside, Green. Porter against none. Pass to Smith. Clock at four. Gafford grabs the miss. Well, you mentioned the shooting, Grant. Smith Jr. hitting 42% from beyond the arc last season. B.A., I mean, among his many skills, that one probably stands out the most. But I also love his potential at the other end. He really has those tools to be a lockdown defender, one through five. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Daniel Gafford picks one up.
That's good from Porter. Porter hits them both. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Peel against Green. Outside none. Shangun against Porzingis. Clock at six. Three pointer. Beal. Offensive rebound. Gafford. It's Avdia on the wing. Tries again. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And it's 6-9, Denny Abia with great size for a wing grant. Yeah, B.A., and you combine that with his motor, too. I mean, he's already an excellent defender with the versatility to cover inside and out. on the first and the second free throw is good into the third two minutes in now outside green Pass to Shangun. Now here's Green. Drills it from deep. Green's got 10. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Here's Avdia. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Now Gafford. Back to Avdia. Three-pointer. On target from range. And the Wizards lead by seven. The defensive intensity must pick up. It hasn't been the same this half. For Houston, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. None against Porter. Pass to Smith. Now Green. The three. Another shot. And Porzingis with the block. Here's Beal driving in. And then Beal with the dunk. Boy, this guy's so springy from the two-guard position. Just incredible athleticism by Bradley Beal on the drive. Houston has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Outside, green. Pass to Shangun. And here's Porter. Let's go with a three. And they'll get another chance. Smith passes to Porter. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. To the paint. Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. And so it's Houston with it. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. That'll be the end of a three-game homestand. Pass to Smith. It's tipped. Out of bounds. Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. And the Rockets making a change here. Christopher's checked in. Here's Shangun. Smith left side. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Now here's Wright. The D's right on him. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
What you appreciate about DeLon Wright is he knows his role and he's willing to star in his role. And the other part about it is he's been committed to his own development. Shoot two. First one falls. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Houston has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Pass to Christopher. Porter with it. He's got 13. Just five on the clock. Back to Christopher to halt the run. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis is... Beal against Porter. Beal, the pass to Davis. Back to Beal. Up and over Porter. The Wizards with another miss. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And this is where they've struggled. Yeah, the half court has not been kind to them. Let's see what they run. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, We found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Ali. First free throw is good. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Beal outside. Pass to Kuzma. No good. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Green in the post. Davis on him. And it's Green missing. I'll tell you, most of the time this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Porter against Beal. And here's Wright from the arc. The putback. It's good on the putback. Kuzma's got six. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Porter, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Washington. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. No good on the free throw. So for the Rockets, Garuba's checked in for Shangun. Tate comes in for Smith. And Washington is subbed in for Green. Kispert's checked in for Washington. He hits the second from the line. The Wizards have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Right outside. Left side, Porzingis. Oh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled 9 of 15 so far. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Christopher. 
Now here's Porter. Right side tape. Washington outside. There's the three. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. Tate's shot is off. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Making plays at both ends of the floor, and it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now a timeout called by Houston. You know, I think one thing Coach will address in this timeout right now is you're missing a lot of shots. Why not become more of a facilitator out there? And the Rockets making a change here. Martin's checked in. Boy, the Rockets really having a tough go here. Pass to Christopher. Back to Washington. And no good. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Washington's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Kispert blocked. They retain possession. Back to Davis. Six to shoot. Second chance shot. It doesn't go for him. Now the Rockets take it the other way. Outside Tate. Pass to Christopher. Here's Washington. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Here's Tate. Rebound by the Wizards. Kuzma's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Davis goes in. And Davis slams it home. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Houston shooting a rough 25% for the field in this game. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Back to Washington. Pass to Garuba. Four on the clock. Misses, and the dry spell continues. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. A guy who plays with great confidence, Grant. Davis is always looking to attack. Yeah, and B.A., that's true at both ends of the floor. His competitive nature allows him to guard an opponent's best score and at the same time shoulder much of the offensive load. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Morris, he's checked in for Washington. What I love about Kyle Kuzma is this guy understands there's more to the game than just scoring. That's a change from his rookie season. Now he wants to contribute defensively, and he gets on the glass, guys. Houston calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme, or is it a problem with matchups? They're just getting run over right now. And you can really see they're starting to show some frustration. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Here's Kuzma. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Down low. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity.
Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That's good from Kuzma. And Houston is shooting just around 26% for the game. Washington passes to Tatum. Here's Christopher. Martin outside. Uncovered. He's off on that one. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. On the attack, Morris. Some solid defense from Martin. Here's Washington. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Tate. Pass to Christopher. This one for three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside Porzingis. Morris on the wing. Fires for three. The shot, no good. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Kuzma. Two points. That one goes. Kuzma's got ten points here in the second half. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to Christopher. Washington against Morris. Shot clock at six. Pulls up on the wing. Washington making some changes. Gafford, he's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Avdia comes in for Wright. And none is subbed in for Davis. Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. Hey, that's just their first turnover. Overall, they've done a great job taking care of the ball. 11 left in the third quarter. Martin finds Washington. Here's Christopher. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pulls up. Yes, on the jumper. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. And here is Morris. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Kuzma, the pass to Morris. Count that bucket. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. 40 seconds left in the third. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Washington inside. None defends. And it's Washington missing. Pass to Avdia. Over Tate. And Avdia with the basket. On the assist from none. Avdia's got six. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Christopher. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. One second left. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Washington with a commanding lead to end the quarter. 27 points. Looking good. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket.
And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Washington shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. Todd's out there with Todd Gibson. Then it's Kispert, then it's Monte Morris, and it's Gill in at the two. Now here's Washington to the inside. Garuba laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Here's Morris. We've seen fans removed for inappropriate comments to players. Doris, where do you draw the line between heckling and being inappropriate? I think one way I look at this, Brian, is if I were face-to-face -face with somebody, what would I be comfortable saying? I think we should always err on the side of caution. It's okay to heckle and have some fun and sort of give your team support. But I think if we ultimately keep respect foremost in our minds, we'll be okay. Here's Marjanovic. The rebound by the Wizards. It's picked off. In transition, here they come. Washington left side. Pass to Garuba. The shot, no good. Now Washington takes it the other way. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Here's Kispert. He's covered by Tate. Here's Kispert. Shot clock at five. 18 feet out. Puts it up from 17. Tate grabs the board. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Pass to Christopher. Takes the three. Knocks down the long J. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. The Wizards have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Inside. Here's Todd. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, sure, living sure. and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. And that one misses. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. So Washington going with an almost entire new group here. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Gibson. Wright comes in for Kispert. Bradley Beal, he's checked in for Gill. And it's Davis in for Morris. And he's good on the second. The Rockets have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Quarter, the pass to Green. The rebound by the Wizards. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Beal, give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Pass to Green. And he lobs it up. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Green. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Houston. Cauley Stein comes in for Smith. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Here's Todd. And Doris, Commissioner Silver has expressed a desire to ensure star players participate in a full complement of games. What's the answer here? I think, B.A., a couple things come to mind. There's been a long discussion about whether you can shorten the regular season. That obviously impacts revenue generated, so I'm not sure you'd go there. The league could also structure contracts to incentivize games played. And it's the Rockets with the ball. After the basket by Washington. Outside for Porter. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Davis. Porter gets the bucket. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. 
Outside Davis. Beal against Porter. Right, outside. Second chance effort. Three-pointer. Beal. They grab their own miss. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Well, you've got size and length, so Chris Stapp's Porzingis, the extra possession. The Rockets have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That's his first foul. Wizards on D. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Outside, green. Count it. And let's take another look at that exceptional drive, thanks to Mobile One. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. For Washington, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Outside Davis. Pass to Beal. It's stolen. In transition. And then Porter with the dunk. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Here's Beal following the score by Houston. Yep, that one's good. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. The Rockets have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. And with the G League Ignite and other youth leagues, the opportunity to go pro at a young age is there. Doris, did you see this coming? Well, we know nothing stays static in life, Brian. And I think you need to look no further than what happened for such a long time over in Europe and abroad. We'd observed that European players had an advantage where it came to skill development because they were playing pro earlier than people over here in the United States. This has helped close the gap. Outside, green. He drops it from range. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Beal outside. Pass to Davis. Takes a three. Unable to get that one. And Houston will come the other way. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. Here's Green. The shot misses. Davis with the defensive effort. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Down low. Porzingis lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Porzingis has got six here in the quarter. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Houston has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Outside Porter. Clock at six. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. Porter's got 20 points. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Porter against Beal. Outside Davis. Beal outside. Up and over Porter. That one won't go. That's his eighth miss out of 15 shots. Pass to Green. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. 
But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players in the back end of their careers. Washington with the ball after the Rockets picked up the basket a moment ago. Martin, he's checked in for Green. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Gill comes in for Bradley Beal. Martin outside. That's tipped. Pass to Porter. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. Porzingis grabs the board. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Right wing. Here's Gill. Connects from downtown. Uh, DeLon Wright proving that he is an excellent decision maker on the offensive end. He made open. Let me find him. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course. <laughs> Here in the second half, you see they've gone to the long ball to try to keep up. Martin against Wright. Pass to Gill. Oh, it's stolen by Coley Stein. And he's going for the lob. Oh, got a piece of it. And stolen by Porzingis. Right outside. Here's Gill. Porzingis passes to right. Out to the right wing. And here's Kispert from the arc. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got his fourth rebound in this one. The ball's knocked loose. 149 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Here's Kispert. Pass to right. There's the triple. Kaminsky pulls it in. Houston has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Wizards. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Kristaps Porzingis. Well, I think his contribution clearly came at the defensive end, right? He came up with a bunch of huge steals. He was a menace all night long. Gibson's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Porter, the pass to Martin. Here's Christopher. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Green's checked in for Houston. Washington comes in for Porter Jr. Here are the Wizards now with the ball. Pass to Gibson. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. 
Here's Gill. Over Washington. Gill, no. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Now, here's Green. Back to Washington. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time.